Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to install Opposing Force or Blue Shift or both, if you want both, on your Oculus Quest headset. This could be Quest 1, Quest 2, or potentially a future Quest device. So, this uses the Lambda 1 VR port of the original Half Life. If you don't have that setup, you will need that setup first. And I've got a video covering that how to do it on Mac, so feel free to check that out. We'll be building on top of what we covered in that video. If you're here, but you wanna do this on Windows or Linux, don't worry, I've got videos for that as well. So feel free to check them out. I'll have a separate video covering how to upgrade your Opposing Force and Blue Shift installation to HD on Mac. I've got it for Windows and I'll have it for Linux as well, if you're interested in that. So the first thing that you wanna do is obviously it's assuming that you've got side quest already set up is open up steam and if you scroll down go to half life and go to blue shift click this will be installed if you haven't got it installed don't say it's not compatible if it says that about because you've got catalina or above it doesn't matter because we're not actually playing it we just need the files so this is you know gain it from steam if you have it via another method feel free to use that this video is not condoning piracy just wanted to mention that and for opposing force just go to half-life opposing force click install if you know you haven't already got it installed once you've done that fantastic <coughs> go to steam go to preferences i've already got it open and in here go to downloads and go to steam library folders this will show you where your games download by default it will be users your username library application support steam you may have changed it in at some point and you might have forgot so now what we want to do is actually go to that folder so i'm just going to open this up open up any window go to your computer go to macintosh hd go to users sonar systems and library will then appear it doesn't appear because we can't access it because it's a hidden file and folder if you have hidden files folders visible then you won't have an issue if you do we can just access this folder by making sure we're on finder and you can just right click here and just go to go to folder and just type in forward slash users your username forward slash library you can type the rest in but we can navigate using the finder it just makes it a little quicker so go to go Go to, I think it's grayed out because that's, you know, a hidden file folder. Go to application support. Scroll down. Go to Steam. Where is it? Steam. Go to Steam apps. Common. And here are all your games. You might be thinking with Opposing Force and Blue Shift. Because they were original Half-Life mods. They actually appear inside of here. And we need to copy over the B-Shift and the Gearbox folders. So to do that, we are launch up side quest by default you'll probably see it along these lines and you know just to recap I've covered this in separate videos but if you haven't connected it you just plug it in you'll probably go yellow saying it's not authorized and we want it to go green just put your headset on you'll probably say allow us to be debugging allow You'll say allow access to data, allow, and then it might say allow USB debugging again, click allow. Okay, this should go green now, fantastic. Um, ignore this, because I've got Android file transfer, which is a great way of accessing the folders of any Android device, including your Quest, because that's what it is. It is an Android device, so you can use this if you want to. Basically, you need to access the folders. Go to this folder icon, and it's saying unauthorized again, so I'm just gonna authorize it again. I mean, if this happens, no biggie, you just authorize it again. It's not much of an issue. So now, and let's go back to it. There we go. Go to XASH, and in here, I've already done it, but what you want to do is copy over the gearbox for opposing force and b shift for blue shift you just literally drag and drop it like so drag and drop it and that's it i'm not going to do it because i've already got it you know done so you would actually i'll do it because it's not that big to be fair so i'll do b shift on 
delete that one for you or do it because it's not that big so I'll drag that and you'll be put into here it doesn't take too long because it's actually not that big and you'll be finished any moment now and then you can do opposing force the same way which is in the gearbox folder because that mod was developed by gearbox who made you know band of brothers there we go so now let's do the same for opposing force so if i just copy over that again let's go over to here it should not take too long because it is not the biggest of games obviously it's a very old game And there we go. So before we can actually play, the another thing that we need to do is go to XASH. We need to modify the command line.txt. TXT. And you can't open it here. So you have to save it. And feel free to change the location. I'm going to save it to the desktop. That's fine. And now it's, it's a very small file. Open that up. And in here, this is what we need to mess around with. Make sure, let me zoom in. Make sure it says XASH space dash dash super sampling space 1.25 space dash dash MSAA space 2 space dash dash CPU space 4 space dash dash GPU space 4 space dash game space and instead of HL gold you put gearbox which was what the name of the folder was gearbox for Posing force or B shift for Half Life Blue Shift, and it's re it's recorrected. It's corrected that we don't want that. So save that file. I would like to double check that it has saved it correctly. It has fantastic. I will provide in the description these commands, so you don't need to worry about you know typing it out. But you can if you want to. Now make sure Side Quest has the latest version. So I'm going to delete the old one and copy this new one over it's very quick because as you can imagine it's a very small file so that is now done we're all good to go so we can actually launch this up now so you switch between posing force and blue shift like that the alternative that you can do is use lambda one vr launcher by using lambda one vr launcher it allows you to switch between posing force blue shift and your half your og half life one without having to go into side quest or your mac to rename that command in command line.txt so feel free to use whichever and you can install that via side quest i've got a separate video covering how to install the lambda one vr launcher and set it up so i'm going to close this and actually to prove that i disconnecting it you can see that and that will go red as well now what we're going to do is close this bad boy open this up you will momentarily see what i'm seeing on the quest i do not like to strap up the quest but again they did knock the price down by 100 quid so these little minor things i can through here and let me show the screen Should be seeing the screen any moment now. There we go. You're seeing what exactly what I'm seeing now. I'm sure you know. You go to apps. You go to this drop down. Scroll. Go to unknown sources. And we can do. No, we can do A to Z. That's fine. If you scroll down. Do Lambda 1 VR that will launch whatever version that you've currently set in command line.txt. If you go to Lambda 1 VR launcher, that will allow you to switch between the different ones. So I'm just going to go to OG Lambda 1 VR and it will launch Blue Shift. So that's it, really simple stuff. You can change the audio settings, video settings, feel free to experiment with these. You can change the controls as well. I'm going to leave it all as default. Go to New Game, Medium. And there we go. We have Half Life Blue Shift loaded.
So there we go. We have half left blue shift loaded. It's the same thing for opposing force. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know and I will assist you. As you can see, the textures are looking a bit blurry and rough. And I will show you in a separate video of how to. How to upgrade this upgrade this to HD so feel free to check that out and just pause it using the menu button on your left controller so that's it if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual I look forward to seeing you in the next video